herbs are one of the most important things that you can do to increase the quality of your cooking. Okay, and I'm talking about fresh herbs, okay, which are quite a different thing from dried herbs. Okay, there really isn't any sort of comparison. Okay, I might use dried bay leaves in a base level of a, of a soup or a stew, or maybe infusing it into some milk and that kind of thing. Uh, or dried oregano on a, on a pizza or, or in a tomato sauce base and things like that. But those are probably the only two examples of when I would use dried herbs. Otherwise, it's fresh all the way. Again, it's easy to break them down into two types of herbs. And we generally talk about hard herbs and soft herbs. Okay, hard herbs tend to grow well and survive the winter. Things like rosemary, thyme, bay, sage, and we have abundance of those all the way through the year. Okay, they often grow into quite big bunches and they tolerate the harsh winter environment. Okay, which is why they tend to appear in winter dishes like stews or casseroles, slow cooking wintery style dishes and, and that sort of thing. At the other end of the scale, things like uh, soft herbs like mint, dill, chives, coriander, which is a very soft herb, uh, and tarragon. Chervil and basil are probably the softest and somewhere sitting on the fence is parsley, okay? You can treat that a little bit like a hard or a soft herb when it comes to cooking. There's curly parsley and there's flat leaf parsley, um, which as the name suggests has these really nice flat leaves, okay? And you need to take extra care with curly parsley when you're washing it because it, it grows so close to the ground that it tends to trap the grit in the dirt that washes up from the, from the ground when it rains, okay? So that's something to be very careful about. Now it's important to keep this hard herbs, soft herbs scale in mind because it directly relates to how we handle the herbs when we're, when we're cooking. We said in the reoccurring principles of cookery flavor levels um, clip that hard herbs often add base level flavor, okay? And they're added near the start of the cooking process and soft herbs tend to sort of be put in at the end at the finishing level of flavor, okay? So they go right in at the end, for example, a handful of chopped fresh basil in the end of a tomato sauce to give it a, a fresh lift and a nice fresh basil flavor. Okay, but if we put it in at the start of the cooking process, uh, it's, it's not gonna taste like basil at all, okay? The same with coriander and, and things like Thai food. Um, you always add it right, right at the end and it gives a really fresh boost of flavor, okay? Uh, adding thyme, rosemary or bay into a casserole or stew early on in the cooking process will add to that base level of flavor, but it won't necessarily taste like rosemary or thyme at the end, okay? If you want that sort of rosemary flavor, you chop some up really, really finely and then add it into the dish at the end, okay? Or, or close to the end of the, of the cooking um, process. Now, hard herbs require a little bit more cooking to draw out the oils, um, which is where all the flavor is and so you need to really really chop them up nice and fine when it comes to chopping herbs this scale is also very important okay a piece of rosemary or thyme can handle quite a lot of chopping okay you can strip off the the leaves and then chop them up really really finely so they don't end up stuck in your teeth okay you don't want to be chewing chewing a piece of rosemary all night long it's okay to give them a bit of a rock chop okay like this and cut them up uh, incredibly finely if you want to throw them into the dish and you're intending on on leaving the herb in there okay and it's going to be eaten otherwise you can throw the whole stalk in and, and leave it to infuse in the dish and then remove it before it's eaten okay so we strip the flavor out and leave it in the dish and then we get rid of the rest okay it's kind of much easier actually for example if I was um, putting rosemary into a stew and I wanted it as the finishing flavor right at the end I'd make sure that the um, that it was chopped up incredibly finely, okay, so it went into the stew. In comparison with a piece of basil, which is incredibly soft, if I run the knife backwards and forwards through it, I'm going to bruise it and it's going to go, go brown and it'll lose all its freshness in, in a couple of minutes, okay. So this is why it's vital to have a sharp knife, especially with soft herbs. You always hone the knife with a steel just before you chop your herbs, so you give them a better chance of not going brown. Line up the soft leaves like this, and, and cut them very, very carefully through the bunch just once, okay, as finely as you can. If you start doing some kind of rock chop like this, everything's gonna get bruised. There's also no problem with putting soft herbs straight into the dish in large pieces, okay? You can almost consider those really soft herbs like uh, basil, mint, coriander as salad, okay? Just cut them up or even better, just tear them up and put a nice big handful in. Hard herbs definitely need chopping though. Now when it comes to storing herbs, 
they actually keep quite a while if you look after them okay keep them in the fridge if you look after them well they should last a week or two uh, and if you don't they might last only a couple of hours okay so ideally store them in a, a ziploc bag or a sealed container or maybe a tray with a damp paper towel or J cloth or something like that over the top. The important thing is to keep them away from the back of the fridge, okay? If they, if they sit too close to the element in the back of the fridge, they tend to freeze very quickly, okay, to the back of the fridge. And it's much more important to look after your soft herbs. They'll freeze within an hour if they're not looked after well. So, so keep that in mind. Put them in the fridge and ideally keep them in the fruit and vegetable um, compartment at the bottom okay or in a sealed container or something like that and, and you'll get the best out of them.